I was literally talking about it for like five seconds and I forgot about ten seconds after I believe. Wow. What a memory. <laughs> well, I was talking about why Skyrim possibly could implement such a feature where you can't hurt kids. And this could be told in many perspectives. This is obviously my opinion about it. <laughs> ah, right? Alright, so what I think is that games... At, uh, you know how people, like, kids usually play rated M games these days. They figure out a way to bypass. I myself, I fi I I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, I did it. I played a lot of rated M games and I shouldn't have. And I kind of regret it. It kind of made me a bit more angry at, you know, everything. You know what I mean? Uh, if you guys could compare, you could go ahead and let me know. And, uh, with that being said, oh, this. Uh, with that being said, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, right? Yeah, I'm definitely not. I know a lot of people, actually. What am I saying? Alright, so what was I saying? Alright, so with that being said, uh, I believe that Skyrimus did this because I think there's a lot more violence now uh, towards, uh, you know, which what's the correct word, use of words? Minors, I think I should say? Minors, right. And uh, more violence towards them, and usually it's caused by maybe, uh, you know, from a game or, you know, it could be the signs of that, anything virtual happening, possibly. But I believe that, uh, you know, they, they have to cut down from that because, you know, honestly, I heard this before. If you guys know what a game called Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and I do not recommend this game if you're, you know, not 17. Honestly, I played that game all the time, and I used to have a pretty interesting childhood. You know? Not that I was, like, really, like, angry at everyone, but, like, geez, eh, it kind of changed me. Like, I would be, I would always think that I'm, like, the best, you know what I mean? Because in that game, if you guys know what that game exactly is, you're involved in a lot of killing, and usually when you're a kid playing that game and you're involved in such activity, you, you know... You become glued to the fact of killing, and it's your only resort of escaping an environment, if you know what I mean, guys. But I think I'm getting in the right direction of talking about this kind of stuff. I think this is uh, exactly what I was trying to talk to you guys about. Like, I like talking about this kind of stuff. Let me know if you guys like it too, because I do have hell of a time to talk about this stuff, you know, if I could correctly collect my thoughts that is now okay let me just disable that for better fps uh, you know what guys i'm not gonna build that i'm just gonna talk to you i'm gonna we're gonna go to another i have some things to show you actually oh, there you go okay now we have armor so i put that on if i didn't show you before and so let's go Oh, bye bye. Alright, lag. We're gonna get lag, of course. Okay, I heard that. Okay, yes, less lag. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And I haven't found another fortress, fortress or anything like that. But I'm getting a little off topic here. Well, I was trying to merely get to you guys that, in my opinion, uh, specifically, is that, I, you know, I thought that that's how, uh, you know, like, that's how games now should be rated. Even though it's rated M, uh, you know, there's still a chance that it could be direct, you know, kids will find a way to play. And just to be on the safe side, I think they would implement such a feature of not hitting a kid. Because, like, think of it this way. A kid playing a game where he's allowed to hit another kid, and in the next day at school, that other kid that you were just hitting in Skyrim, like, you know, put this in, like, uh, like, don't actually, like, not the actual kid, you know what I mean, uh, you know, just think about it the, what, that way, I'm kind of mixing up my words here, but that's okay, uh, what I'm trying to say is, imagine if that kid next day, like, shoved you into a wall, uh, you thinking back into Skyrim, imagine if you were able to hit that kid and everything, alright, actually, we'll, we're to 
will go to San Andreas or something like that, and you hit the kid, or if there is any kids in that game, I'm pretty sure there isn't. Alright, let's say in Skyrim. Alright, right, I'm pretty certain now. Let's say in Skyrim, you're hitting a kid, like you're allowed to. Uh, let's say they have to make a patch later on to fix this. But let's say, you know, you hit the kid before, and then next day in school, that kid shoves you back. You look back at Skyrim, and then you're like, I'm going to shove this kid back, or I'm going to hit him to defend myself. Well, you've just invoked in such activity caused by game. You see what I mean, guys? Oh, no. I think I might be using the wrong words to describe things. That's usually how I am, guys. That, that really is. I always use, sometimes I use wrong words to describe something else and it would completely be directed at the wrong point of view and stuff like that. I really apologize for that. I could be a little, I could be a little stupid at times, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I guess. But yeah, thank you guys a lot. Thank you guys a lot for hearing me out. And I want to, I want to hear, I want you guys, I want to hear you guys out as well. I want I want to hear the replays out. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Uh, what do you guys think? So essentially the question is, what do you think, and why do you think, just hitting, like in Skyrim, just in Skyrim, you know, or any other game that involves activities like so, why do you think, you know, they uh, prevented that from happening? No, obviously, guys, like, let's sh before you comment, you, just, you know, before anyone comments, let me just say this. It could have just been that the creators just wanted to do that. I know that, but, you know, if putting it into this perspective and, you know, how about, let, let's just say that the creators weren't like this. And any other similar thing that you try to get back at me at, try not to do, try to answer my question. I'm kind of curious, guys. I mean, you don't have to, but please try and do this. Is well, I was really directing at, you know, but it's whatever. Um, so, yeah, guys, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for hearing me out. It truly means a lot. And, yeah, I think that was really, really good. I think that was a really good conversation. I think we bonded very well today. And I'm very proud of it. And that looks pretty good. And we will get the hell out of here. Now I'm going to be attacked by slime, so let's do this. Oh, wow, you saw that my bow reset. Okay, guys, uh, I recorded like 12 minutes before when I went to go check back at the clip. So it's not too sh bad, I would say. It's not too bad. And I want to do one thing before I leave now. And, you know, I have plenty of time to record today. I'll probably be back recording later on today. Uh, and guys, it's also not a big thing for me as well in my family. My brother is going to college, and that that's a lot. That You know, that's a lot. Like, that's a lot of things, like, just happening at once. Just, just college in general, like, damn. He's in a, like, an official adult now. Like, he drives and everything. He drives me around and stuff. We hang out, but he's an adult now. Like, he, he's eligible to have kids at this age. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, damn! Oh, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Uh, at least here in New York. I don't know about other places. Uh, but yeah, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will definitely be doing this one in the future whether whether uh, people would like it or not honestly I think I think it's good I think that talks good I don't know I, I don't mean to sound shallow or anything but you know I, I you know I think that's where people get mad usually in uh, commentary or whatever it's like if someone accidentally sounds shallow in their commentary you have to immediately assume that they're like forcing you to do something or do something that guys take a step ahead realize that maybe it was just maybe it was just an accident and <laughs> maybe it was just having fun but whatever guys i think that about sums it up for this episode i think you know what i'm going to be doing right now i'll be showing an example right here and uh, if i could do it there we go yeah uh, there we go that's what i wanted to do and I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Uh, my name is Ayubsum, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you like my stuff, you know, feel free to check out the older videos. Uh, they're not as similar, but I think they're more gameplay powered, if you know what I mean. They're, you know, they might not invoke in such commentary now, like what I have now. Uh, see, that was probably the a be uh, wrong word that I used, but it's, you guys know what I mean, I'm pretty sure. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll try not to do any trades off camera. You know, just to be on the safe side. No, I don't, uh, if anything, I want to do a mass trade with those, because you won't get those too often. Alright guys, well, thank you so much for watching, my name is Irizum. And I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Out. Yeah. yeah.